Hey guys, Richard Holden here for Speed Secrets. This episode is brought to you by the guys at Comp Cams, and it's all about the Gen 3 5.7 liter Hemi. And not just any Hemi, a stroker version. Now we're going to show you how to go from mild to wild with just a cam swap. So let's take a look at our test motor, take a look at those cams, and jump on the dyno. To get things started, we needed a test motor. Now our Hemi started out as a 5.7 liter from a Dodge Ram truck. But thanks to a change of bore and stroke, we were able to increase the displacement from 5.7 liters up to almost 6.1 liters. In addition to the forged internals, we also had fully ported 5.7 liter Hemi heads, a windage tray, and a valve spring upgrade. Now thanks to that valve spring package from the guys at Comp Cams, we were able to run our combination of added lift and RPM on the wilder of the two cams. Now speaking of the cams, let's check those out. Looking at the two cams for our Hemi Stroker, we see that they're different, both in specs and performance. Now cam number one was a 260H-13 cam from Comp Cams. Now this mild cam offered a 522-525 lift split, a 206-212 degree duration split, and a 113 degree lobe separation angle. Now this compares to our bigger custom cam that offered 587 lift, a 239-247 degree duration split, and a 114 degree lobe separation angle. Now as you can tell, there's a big difference in cam. So how do they do? Let's find out. Forge rods and pistons. Mylet on windage tray. Ported 5.7 Hemi heads. First up, the 260 cam. A comp valve spring upgrade. SRT8 exhaust manifolds. Ram truck intake manifold. Converted drive by wire throttle body. Fast XFI ECU. After the 260, we installed the custom cam. Both cams run on the dyno. Big horsepower gains from the custom cam. But the bigger cam did trade torque. Okay guys, the results are in. And as you can see, there was a big difference in power between our two camshafts. I mean, looking at the power curve of the smaller cam, we have what we call a square motor. That's where the peak horsepower is almost identical to the peak torque. Now this is a good combination for any kind of daily driver, for a truck, or even for towing. But if you're the kind of guy that wants your Hemi to sing, pick something like our Wilder Cam Profile. Equipped with that custom cam, the power gains were as high as 90 horsepower over that smaller cam. But remember, there was a trade-off in low-speed torque, as much as 40 foot-pounds. But what this test tells us is that no matter what combination you have, you can dictate the personality of that motor with the right camshaft. I'm Richard Holder. That's all the time I have. I want to thank the guys at Comp Cams. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.